Here's Brody Brazil. Already itching for more hockey. Isn't it, isn't it amazing how that happens? I mean, for example, the Oakland A's right now are playing game 122 of their season. They're up three to two, but it's been a rough year. 51 and 90 record. They are on pace to lose 100 games for only the second time in Oakland franchise history. So all that, right? It's been a lot of losing and a lot of struggling and a lot of leads that turned into deficits and a lot of stuff that we don't really love to rehash or discuss on TV. But I'm telling you, the weekend that baseball is over, you know, we'll be like, okay, great, take a breather. But the next weekend when we don't have it, there will be that emptiness. Now, for me personally, it won't last long because I'll be distracted by hockey. And here comes that new season. And to your point, you know, you think about the way last shark season ended. Just get the season over with. Let's get some changes happening here. Let's try and better the team. But I don't think anybody wanted that season last year, last fall, uh, spring to extend much longer, right? Just be done with it. Let's move on. Let's start a new campaign. It's just amazing how redemption happens, right? Uh, an off season gives you the time to reflect, to reset, to get excited all over again. And that's the jittery, if, that, if, if I'm saying your, your screen name right. That's the feeling I have too for Sharks hockey. It's also the weird feeling that I have for baseball ending. Like I'm, I, I'm, I'm seeing the light at the end of the tunnel and I do need a breather from this stuff. And it has been a, a daunting season, one like any other before in a negative way. But I'll miss it and I'll really miss it when it comes time for January, the start of February. We'll talk about spring training, the smell of grass, the sound of bats and gloves and baseballs. And so it, the, the cycle of sports, you know, it's, it's amazing. By the end of it, you get in the routine, you miss the routine, then you're away from it, and then you start to build up that, that interest for it all over again. So I'm excited to see a new Sharks team. I know change can be scary, but as a fan, I think it could be really fun and interesting. Many are worried, but I think they have a chance to exceed our expectations. It's a great topic, and it's an interesting one, and it's something that we're going to find out. I feel like in the first two to three months of the season, basically by the end of 2022, we will know how much change has truly taken place with the Sharks. Excuse me, how much effect of change has taken place. Because in terms of change, I mean, new GM, new head coach, a lot of new people in the hockey operations side of things, not to mention new jerseys, they say, uh, new scoreboard, new home for the minor league team. There are so many different things about this season, which inherently makes it exciting. As Drew and I talked about a couple weeks back, you know, op it's, the, it's the opportunity season. And yeah, it is maybe hard for some to get out of their comfort zone. Right, Brent Burns, the time on ice leader of the team, each of the last how many seasons, no longer with the club. So they are going to take on a different look and feel in a lot of different ways on the ice, off the ice, strategy, execution. So, yeah, I understand. Scary, but they needed this, right? And I don't think anybody is upset in understanding that it was not working out. It was not making progress. The traction was not happening as much or as quickly as possible. So I'm with you. I, I think you do have to give this time. Let's be fair about it. Mike Greer took over what was definitely a project. This wasn't a turnkey operation. And the same thing for Coach Quinn, right? It's, it's one of those things. I, I, I said this about Bob Bugner too. He was not handed the keys to something that was automatically going to open the playoff doors. Not the case. And I don't think... Greer and Quinn right now are in that situation either. They're building towards it, and maybe with their influence, that can even push it closer. So I'm not even going to say, oh, yeah, the three-year playoff drought's over. I don't know. I'd love to think that. How could anybody know? So much has been changed. There is so much newness that we will find out. But I, again, I think we'll have a really good idea where the season is headed by the end of December 2022. And what I'm saying is, have a really good idea. Are, are they in the playoff conversation? Are they not? Is there still a lot of work? Are there more changes and moves that need to be made? Or like, are we gaining steam, even if we're not close, but, but you can see it coming. That's fine too. I think that's what this next season is all about. Paying attention to 
trajectories. I'm excited about it. Um, I'm excited about the new conversations, the new looks, the new, you know, I mean, it, it's the same, it's the same logo on the sweater. It's the same building you've been going to. Um, Randy, Drew, and Hetty, same announcers you've been used to on television. Maybe we'll invite Brownie back. But, you know, a lot of, a lot of those same things. But what you'll witness in the games will be different. Now, will it be better? Different and better are two things. Instantly better? I don't know. Better in time? That's, that's the hope, right? That's the thing that you're aiming for. I just, I, I, my concern is that some people will pay attention for October. And if, even if it's just a mediocre month, it's a 500 hockey month, that's not good enough. You didn't make all the right changes. Well, what, what, you, you just, you got to give it a little bit of time here, right? Anybody who's remodeled a house knows that that's not a two week project, right? Takes a little bit of time. Stratford PEI, East Coast. What do I think of Carlson being traded by the Sharks to shake up team identity? But would it though? I mean, it, it like the, did the Burns move not do that? I mean, are you, are you just saying you need more shake up? Or are you saying I need more cap space? Um, I know what it accomplishes in terms of, you know, the financials, but I've always said, too, I think that the Sharks are deepest right now on the blue line. Players that have come up, players that are in their pipeline. And that's weird, right? Usually, a lot of teams have the opposite problem. They've got enough forwards that can play. They can fill out a lineup up front. But, you know, D-man-wise, they're in trouble. Because it's hard, like it's really hard to have somebody that's plug-and-play, solid, reliable, that you can throw in there on a, on a pair and just and fit and be quiet, right? And it, it's weird. A lot of defensemen have quiet games because they didn't score. They weren't, you know, a secondary sister, but but they're so shut down and they're so good. That's why they're quiet. You didn't mention their name because they didn't make a lot of mistakes out there. And the Sharks have brought up a lot of those players defensively in the last couple of years. So I'm I'm just gonna say, I understand. I understand. I think the Sharks, their ability to make more moves on the blue line probably than, than up front. Up, up front, they're just not, the, the pieces aren't there. Well, I, I take it back. The pieces are there to trade, right? But they are so much shorter up front in depth than they are on the blue line. So I'm only, I'm not, I don't know that I, I you know, I'm not going, I'm not running with this. I, I hear what you're saying. I don't know that it achieves the whole uh, shake up that that you'd be looking for, but at the same respect, you know that that is where the sharks are deepest. Good evening, puck guy. Wondering who is covering the two sharks games in Prague. Well, did you see the TNT schedule? Did you see the ESPN schedule? Were any of those games on there? <laughs> By a matter of deduction. I don't know. I don't know what I can say or what I can't say. Oh, but but before that happens. Okay. Actually, I don't I don't know anything for sure yet, but I'm my educated guests would tell me that they'll be on television somewhere. And you know the theme song, so you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to say it without saying it. Uh, if it is, in fact, me and, and Dr. Brown, the good Dr. Brown, uh, we will not be broadcasting from the Czech Republic. <laughs> we'll be broadcasting from a green screen with the Czech Republic in the background. <laughs> Maybe that's how it'll go. Uh, I should have let that play to the very end. So it goes dun 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 dun. dun. Now that that little tune r reminds me of winter right there. Uh, thoughts on the new SAP Center scoreboard? Jonathan Becker just released another photo on it today. Yeah, he's excited about it. I would be too if I walked into work every day and saw more progress and it's coming together and it, it looks 
gigantic. And that's kind of what the the building has been missing is like a new, like a totally new feature. Like they've improved like one year, I think the sound system got a lot better. I mean, I remember when they put in the last scoreboard and that was the, that was the generation two scoreboard. And that was a big deal. But again, even then it's been um, 12, 13, 14 years probably since that was, was that like 2007 or eight. So yeah, it's been 15 years essentially. So it's been a while that that they really did anything major that you could tell. I mean, they they totally re-engineered the ice system a couple of years ago. They did all those LED lights in the seats. So again, you know, significant. But this is like, boom, you can't miss this when you walk in. Uh, looks huge. I'm sure it's going to be of tremendous resolution and all the bells and whistles and the LED ribbons that go along with it. So yeah, I'm... Uh, I got to tell you, Brutus, this is one of those things where, you know, teams that don't care, they don't do this. Sharks care. Like they, they, they're, you know, they kind of feel maybe they've taken some lumps and, you know, team is struggling and attendance has, has dipped and they want to, they, and they, they wrote it, they wrote it at the top for so long, full houses, playoff teams exciting stuff every year and I know I know didn't win the Stanley Cup yet but literally doing it for 15 plus years or whatever you know and mostly the 2010s most of the 2010s were yeah right at the very right at the very top so I can appreciate the fact that they are doing everything and whatever they can to kind of recapture that and and, and a new scoreboard and new jerseys are those going to win games for the Sharks this year, <laughs> those two things, they do not impact the actual game, but they do the experience, they do the feel, the look, the feel, and uh, you know the fan perspective. The next reverse retro jersey is going to be a Golden Seals throwback. That'd be pretty cool. Now, you got to do the whole color scheme with it, right? That like goldish and like, has that sea foam? It's, like, it's not teal. Like the, the Seals had a weird like greenish color. If it is, and I know some people say, yeah, it's like green and gold, but it, it, was it though? It seemed like, at least, or maybe all, all the photos and images I've seen have faded so much that they don't like, this is green and gold. Let's, uh, let's try and find a really good picture of this. Let's try and find, I guess, yeah. See, maybe it's, maybe it's just my, um, eh. Maybe it's my perception. I'll be honest. Maybe I maybe I got this one kind of wrong. I mean, it, so here's somebody with a mock-up. Oh, six. They use number six. How dare they do that? Aesthetics. Let's open up this here. Come on, just make it bigger. See, now that would be... Boy, that, that does look pretty slick. Oh, man. Oh, and the white skates... Man, I like that. I don't know exactly, you know, I granted, I somebody had an image out there recently, but man, look at that. Concept submission. That is really cool looking. That's a good color scheme too, I have to say. Like I like I'm not I'm not changing. Sharks don't have to change, but that that could be an interesting alternate right there. Look at the mitts. See now that now is that green and gold? No. That's not green and gold. Is it teal? Mm, yeah. It's more seafoamish, if you ask me. Now, like that, first off, of course I'm gonna like green and gold if that's what if that's where they go. So here's my question. Back in the day, was this actually the color or was more like that actually the color or was there there was a third what i'm trying to get to here is look at all the different shades of like green and teal in there is that green like look at that here's an actual photo so like tell me what oh this is going to be such a small photo what is that though like look at the mask <laughs> such a beauty and the sheer wood stick or the Sherwood stick, but um, it's like, is that, is that green? Is that teal? What, what is that supposed to be? 
I've seen I've seen variations. But even if, yeah, even if the sharks did something like this, I think this would be awesome. That would be pretty cool. Good luck. I like it. I do like it. So I don't know where I was here on the live chat, but I forget the question. I forget the topic. Oh, yeah, it's just the fact that, yeah, the next jersey is going to be at a Seals throwback. That's awesome. They have not really gone that, that route in that direction yet. That is an untapped, like, history lesson. Edward saying, well, when, when are these, those going to be released? I don't know. I have no clue. Why, <laughs> why is Dave Stewart in the mock-up? And why is he wearing number six, my jersey? Light green with yellow trim. Okay, so light green. <laughs> Yo, I can't wait to see you at the tank. Likewise. All right. I think I'll do a couple more here and then I'll be Audi. Tomorrow? I don't know. I honestly don't know. I think the reverse retros might come closer to the season for everybody. I think the, the league wants to do all. Like, didn't they come out with all the reverse retros a couple years ago on the same day? Like on one day? Can't remember. 